Well, it's about um, just about six o'clock in the morning. I got up around four. Uh, I am definitely on schedule to <laughs> wreck my sleep schedule again. Uh, I thought I was getting out of it yesterday, but uh, that didn't seem to be the case. Doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, let me get a time and date stamp. It's five hours and fifty-one minutes into the day of Saturday, September thirteenth, two thousand fourteen. It looks like uh, I have some seri pretty serious sleep issues going on. Uh, so <laughs> I've got to work it out. But uh, I'm gonna, so that means I think probably all through next week I'll be staying in the emergency mode uh, until I try to figure out how to deal with it. But uh, uh, sleeping is a challenge for me. The bizarre thing is, I go to sleep. I stay asleep maybe for three, four hours at most. And then something pops into my mind as I'm sleeping, even when I dream, because I, I do lucid dreaming. I, I, I'm, I'm aware of what I dream. And as that happens, when I wake up, I can't go back to sleep again, and I can't really can't turn my mind off. So that's an issue. And it produces these really late nights, these really, really odd hours. And uh, sometimes it gets really fatiguing. So, uh, anyways, uh, things are moving along. Uh, I've got a new way of, uh, of keeping my notes for uh, vlogging. <sighs> I was just talking, you know, you know that Cassandra wrote a note on Nord Nord Zarel because uh, someone commented on, on her English. And a lot of people don't realize uh, when that camera goes on, it's not an easy thing to do to remember what you want to say. And then, of course, being articulate, it, you know, when you're writing, when you're writing, it, it, you have a while before you actually have to present your work. So you can take your time to think about your thoughts, you can rewrite it. Now, in fact, if you're writing an essay, uh, you can write it two, three times before you present your final draft. When you're speaking, it's immediate, it's instant. So you can't really check your grammar, you can't really check your thoughts, you can't really check your coherence uh, in the way you would as if you were writing. It has to be done instantly. And unless you sit down and really start practicing at this and start making sure that you become more articulate, and this is one of the reasons why I do the one take on edits. This is the whole purpose for uh, the BTS vlog, is in addition to showing you behind the scenes, but it's also to get me practice to thinking instantaneously on the camera, and not necessarily instantaneously, but enough in the moment that a conversation can be had and I can remember and think about what I'm saying and how I want to say it. So, uh, <laughs> ironically enough, as I said, it's just about 6 o'clock in the morning. I am sleeping properly, so, uh, I am in full-on fatigue mode. I'm full in full-on full in, I'm full in full on, uh, sleep deprivation mode, and that's going to be a rough thing to deal with over the next few days because uh, I don't know how much sleep I'm going to get over the next few days because I do have church. And usually when I have church, uh, there's more studying involved because of the Greek. But at the same time, uh, because they're at early hours, uh, I usually on the weekends get less sleep than I normally would. So, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So, hey, well, I'll, I'll get through it. I always do. Uh, it's just going to be a little rough. 
Anyways, I will see you uh, later on today and sat on Saturday. I'll probably get some sleep in about a half hour. Uh, and then uh, go from there. All right. Well, hopefully, uh, when we next time I come back, maybe I can do some work in the music studio. We we'll try that out for a bit. <laughs> see you then. Well, it's just about uh, 2.40 in the morning. And uh, it's time for another BTS vlog, another segment anyways. Uh, getting the editing going, <laughs> uh, I decided, well, the thing is, when you get behind, you you know, might as well add to the problems and see whether you can uh, do anything further. And so what I decided to do is that rather than uh, encode to 720p, the, go the goal was to encode to 1080p and move the quality of the channel up. And I wanted to see how the size compares. And they're comparable. They're, they're, um, the uh, half hour, half hour, uh, 720p uh, was 4.1 gigabytes. Uh, and then the, um, the 1080p was uh, 4.2. So. Uh, in comparison between, in terms of the uploads, uh, there is no difference between, uh, uh, real, real significant difference between 4.1 and 4.2. So the decision is uh, I'm going with 1080p and we'll sort of figure that out from there on, you know, you know how things will end up working out. Uh, but, but the thing is, is that looking at, in terms of rendering time, we're looking at about right now four and a half hours of rendering time for a half hour show. Uh, another 200 minutes, the uh, uh, two hours is uh, 120 minutes, uh, 180 minutes is uh, three hours, uh, another 20 minutes, so yeah, I did about three hours and 20 minutes uh, for the upload. So you're looking at, for a half hour, sh 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 half hour show, you're looking at about seven, eight hours worth of time. So uh, that's going to sort of have to f be figured into the day and how I'm going to do the uploads and everything. And how everything will then flow out if we're going to be doing 1080p. So <laughs> uh, this is one of the reasons why I need a higher speed, you know, higher internet speed. Is that, so we'll, we'll see if I can work on that on Christmas and do get a better internet speed in here to uh, sort of speed up the uploads. Right now I'm at three megabits per sec, three megabytes per second, megabits per second, I should say. Uh, I think I'm going to try to get to five megabits per second uh, around Christmas. And you know that should be good enough for uh, for what I need. Uh, anyways, uh, it's gonna take uh, another week before I probably caught up with, with the uploads before you start seeing this as being normal, as the, sort of within the normal time frame. So <laughs> that uh, is still is still still something to be accomplished. So. But anyways, uh, the fact that I'm, I'm up and operating, even though I'm still in emergency mode, is uh, actually a pretty cool thing. So, uh, uh, I got up at 6, six o'clock, 7 6 o'clock today. In the evening, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning now. I said, oh, I'm going to make sure I give you the time and date stamp before I forget again. It's 2 hours and 43 minutes into the day of uh, Saturday, September 13th. No, no, Sunday, September uh, 14th, <laughs> 2014. So anyways, uh, that's about it for now. I think I'm going to end it here, and I will talk to you uh, sometime later on uh, tomorrow. All right, take it easy. Well, I've got this set up now. This is the new camera that's going to be used here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try this out. I don't know how it's going to work. We're on our new camera. I did a test shot, and the quality came out really, really good in terms of the audio and everything. So now, we're going to do a segment of the BTS vlog. We're, we're going to take this video test into the segment of the BTS vlog. This is it. 
what the whole purpose of BTS Vlog is, is that we're behind the scenes, we're testing everything out, we're not hiding any of the development work that's going, going on here, and you get to see all the mistakes, everything, edited, unedited, you know, it's unedited, we're not taking anything out, it's all raw, so, let me give you a time and date stamp, it's 23 hours and 20 minutes, 27 minutes, you know, 23 hours, and 27 minutes into the day of uh, Monday, September 15th, 2014. So we are upgrading as we've got a new camera here. This is part of the whole thing there. I'm doing some work on my uh, uh, editing my, uh, electronics bench. I've got a whole bunch of new systems. Uh, 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 not a whole bunch. Of, I've got two new systems that are being uh, configured so they'll be moved around the office for a bit. I'll be changing up how my editing bay works again. I decided once you start upgrading, let's do the whole thing. Let's go all the way. Do the upgrades. Let's not skimp on it. And one of the things that's... Uh, I forgot to set the timer. But I don't need to set the timer on this camera because it allows you to record as much as you want. Uh, you don't. I don't have the 8 minute time limit that I had before. So uh, that's a good thing, but I do realize that I gotta keep the segments short. I gotta keep them around six minutes or under six minutes. Uh, if I could do that, then these are more interesting segments, uh, and they're not as uh, boring. But the thing is, is that we're not gonna be terribly exciting here because, well, uh, uh, we're doing research here. We're doing study. We're doing <laughs> we're doing mathematics. But I did test out the sound. The sound was great. These are now recording in MTS files. These are the uh, full HD files. But um, I've not really had too much experience working with it. I just tried out Handbrake right now. Uh, this is a system on uh, Linux that allows you to transfer uh, MTS into MP4s. And it did a very good job. So uh, the next step now is to... Uh, eventually take this clip and bring it on to the editing base so uh, that's what's going to happen but it's going to be queued up with everything else so uh, it's going to be uh, about a week to two weeks before we uh, get into all this stuff here before you see this simply because uh, there's an enormous amount of work to get done uh, and also to get all these all the content that the backlog content out so <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll we'll deal with things as they come along so uh, good thing about this uh, Sony camera here is it's, it's the uh, I'll which camera it is. It is this, it's the uh, it's this one here. This is the one here. It is here. It's the Sony. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, PX or something like that. Let me see here. Here, no, it's the Sony uh, the Sony CX two forty. And it does a good job. It, it's doing a good job. It does its focusing properly. Um, of course, I've got to sort of check this out once I do the editing. Uh, the sound comes out really good because I can bring it up to full uh, to full uh, HD sound quality. I can bring it up to the, I think it's the 340, 348 uh, setting. Uh, rather than having it at a lower quality, I can bring it up to the higher quality. Uh, and now we're gonna play. We're gonna play around with the quality, the sort of the film quality, the uh, picture quality, and see this how, how how much we can put up and, and what file sizes we're gonna end up dealing with. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave this here because this is our standard file. This is our standard time. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here. I'll talk to you probably sometime tomorrow. Uh, I'm waiting for another set of del uh, another delivery tomorrow. I have a customer picking up some products so next week, so I've got the products coming in tomorrow to be configured, and then once it's configured, it goes out the door next Tuesday. So <laughs> uh, that's the, that's kind of how I make my money. I, I, I do odds and ends. I do uh, computer IT work, uh, and that sort of pay helps pay the bills uh, and keep me going on a private basis. So uh, the old camera is now offline, so this camera which had the uh, the lens flare on it is now gone. It's now off. Uh, I'm putting it away. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to put it away. Let's say something happens and I need it for an emergency. Uh, I'll use that. For traveling, 
uh, when I'm going walking to do my walking, I'm going to use this camera here. This camera is a, it's a similar camera to the uh, Nikon. Uh, there, it is a Nikon Cool Pick, but it's, it's a model above, and it should do a better job when we're out uh, food shopping. So we can do uh, the um, peripatetics. We can do the walking and the, the sort of the walking philosophy. Anyways, uh, I think that's it for now. As I said before, that's it for now. I will see you uh, a couple hours maybe because uh, I don't know if I'm going to sleep all the way through the night. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to sleep through the night uh, and get some good get a good night's sleep because I do have to be up tomorrow for uh, the delivery. And then I'll sleep after that. But uh, who knows what's going to happen. I'm going to watch some Bertelli. I'm going to watch some of my uh, vlogs on YouTube. And then sort of just shut down. Anyways, that's it. See ya in a couple hours or maybe tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>
takes you a while to uh, really sort of get uh, into the frame of mind that uh, you need to be in to be, to be fully aware of what you're doing. There's a lot of times where you do things that are automatic, and the bizarre thing is you catch yourself doing it later on. Because you may not necessarily catch yourself doing it the first time. And you ask yourself, why do you do what you do? I mean, I was watching this, I was planning to, uh, to, uh, I was thinking about uh, doing the vlog as soon as this finished, but that didn't happen. It, what ended up happening is as I was thinking about uh, turning this on, uh, because I still have to learn how to sort of turn you on properly without sort of making too much of a mess out of it because there's not a lot of space behind the camera anymore. Uh, it's a longer camera, so it's back behind a, 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 a uh, th there's a, a, a board behind there, a wood board, uh, to improve the sound quality. And if you wonder why the sound quality sounds the way it does, it's that's because there's a, there, there's a, 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 a hardwood board behind it. And it acts as an echo chamber, and the resonance from the uh, hardwood board uh, produces a better sound quality than if it did if it wasn't there. So, uh, but that kind of blocks the uh, uh, the start stop button, and you have to be kind of you have to, to get in there with a little bit of finesse, uh, particularly if your fingers are a little bigger, like an adult finger, and get back there and try to sort of you know if you reach back here like this and turn it on and off without knocking the whole thing over. And I was thinking about that. But instead of just simply thinking about it, my arm automatically started to do it. In other words, I went, th was watching this, I went through the motion, and just did it. And that re realized, uh, began to realize that I was <laughs> vlogging. I was vlogging, uh, Instead of just simply thinking about vlogging in terms of turning the camera on. So, and ironically, she's, uh, uh, Kate's talking about um, procrastination. And, and yeah, I know about procrastination. I think everyone deals with procrastination. Uh, procrastination really hits if, you, if you're a person who procrastinates. Um, you can conquer it for a while, do something amazing. And then after doing something amazing, sorry about the yawning, but this, I'm just kind of wiped out. After doing something amazing, you get in this wiped out fatigue stage, sort of this mental fatigue. And then that's where the procrastination starts creeping in again. And this is actually part of the problem with, with vlogging, is that uh, uh, when you miss your vlogging day, you're pretty much procrastinating. So, uh, <laughs> or a vlogging period. Uh, you miss, you're missing, you're missing uh, that vlogging period. And you're missing the vlogging period simply because you feel tired and you put it out and say, well, I'll do this later. And by the time later comes, you've missed an entire day. So anyways, uh, <laughs> let me give you a time and date snap. It's uh, 17 hours and 40 minutes into the day of Tuesday, September 16th. 2014. Yeah, um, even, it, for me, it's, for some reason, this is the way it goes, even when you have procrastination, days of procrastination, it doesn't always work out that way. Uh, I couldn't get to bed last night, you know, I, I vlogged around 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, then, uh, I got up around 10 o'clock, that was five hours later, uh, and waited for a delivery, but I was hungry, so I made myself a grilled cheese sandwich from the kitchen diner, and uh, after, uh, that took me till about 12.30, 1 o'clock, so that I didn't go back to bed till 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's now 5.41, uh, and I got up around 5.30, just about 10 minutes ago. Uh, I'm still in that really groggy stage because I, I it's it's it, it, it it's been two broken five hour period. Well, no, it's it's uh, five hours and four hours, great right? because one to 
one o'clock in the afternoon to just about five, uh, to about five is four hours, well, four and a half hours, let's say. Uh, so we're looking at about nine and a half hours of sleep, but it's broken up into two segments. And that's kind of the way it always works for me. I never get to sleep solidly in eight hours. It's always broken up into segments, it's never straight through, and that kind of, that's kind of what causes a lot of the problems. So. But the uh, slowly will show the way, way of arranging my place is that uh, you can do things even though you think about procrastinating tired. That's what I'm talking about the efficiency mode, the emergency model, the emergency mode, making sure your efficiency is in such a way that it's easy to get things done. So you can, as you're walking by them, you can pick it up easily and get it done. Uh, that's kind of how I organize my place so that. Uh, it's not difficult to do things like, like doing a, a, a diner style grilled cheese, a very good uh, diner style grilled cheese. Uh, it's literally four or five minutes. That's the time. Our time is up. So there's four or five minutes to do. Not even four or five minutes to make the grilled cheese. So very easy to do. It really depends on how you organize your space. That's going to determine whether or not things are easy to do or hard to do. And if they're hard to do, then you're not going to do them and procrastination comes more and more. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, I'm going to wait, finish watching uh, Pedalas and um, then go for dinner tonight. Alright, take it easy. Alright, uh, getting better at starting the recording here, so. <laughs> um. No, it's a matter of getting the uh, the picture straight to see if the pictures are actually straight here. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's uh, 22 hours and 54 minutes into the day of Tuesday, September 16th, and uh, this it is. Uh, I'm starting to feel the fatigue from the days of not sleeping. I'm still not sleeping right, but I'm still starting to feel the fatigue. But, uh, so I decided that I'm going to finish watching the vlogs here that I'm watching. And more than likely, I'll end up taking tomorrow off. It's not doing anything, just sort of scheduling the whole day off. Yeah, just to sit back and relax, because, uh, I am feeling wiped out. So anyways, I probably will put off the music studio and the animation studio till tomorrow. I'm working on an animation studio for Linux because uh, I do need to bring in some graphic work for my uh, for the research that I'm working on, and uh, I always like to learn things by having fun, and that's uh, you know you learn by playing type of thing, and so an animation an animation studio is sort of seems the way to go with things uh, in terms of uh, having fun, and at the same time I can uh, do the research that I need to get done in there so. Uh, there's said if you can do uh, use a sub project and it can handle more than one area then that's what you do so in many cases this uh, this sub area the sub project is basically playing uh, but the playing give an example for uh, for animation there's a lot of geometry involved in animation so you can actually uh, if you're working on a project that requires geometry and that level of mathematics, then you can sit down and as you do the animation, you can work on the geometry as well. So in other words, this one sub-project handles a variety of other projects as well. So that's where I'm going to be going with this. Uh, so uh, that's it for today. Well, it's only a couple hours left for today anyway, so there's like, it's, it's almost 11 o'clock. So it's been an hour left for today before uh, tomorrow starts. So I can almost guarantee you I'll be back here around three, two, three o'clock in the morning, and we'll have another uh, a bit of a bit of discussion. I'll say hello and go from there on out. Anyways, uh, I will see you possibly then. All right, around three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Welcome to the library. And I am
my brain. I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say, can you see? Speech rules here at Democratic Earth.